Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. So, today is just going to be a short story about um, an interesting person that uh, I met on a flight once. So, we're taking off from, uh, I believe it uh, was Chicago, and we were flying to Houston, Texas. And there was this woman there, okay? No biggie. And she was sitting next to me in the airplane itself, so I sat down next to her, just started reading a book, nothing special. Now, you gotta know beforehand that I was a bit scared of flying, like, I wasn't fucking terrified that I'd start crying or anything, but I, I was pretty scared, so, um, anyway, I sit down and I try and relax, you know, as well as it's fucking possible for someone who once had, uh, anxiety while flying. And this woman suddenly just starts talking to me. She's like, so who are you? What's your name? Why are you traveling? And like, that's cool. That's cool. Like, if you want to talk. But like, some people can't take the fucking hint when you want to talk to them and when not. So after like a bit of chit chat, you know, some basic stuff, I just put on headphones and start listening to music again. And she actually like taps my headphones to continue talking to me so i'm not sure if she's nervous or anything or if she wants to talk but like well clearly she wants to talk but like if she's nervous and that's why she's talking so i take them off again and she's like yeah so you know i've always been kind of nervous about flying how about you and i was like yeah you know i'm a bit nervous but no biggie and she just goes on and on until at one point i'm just like can you fucking stop? This flight takes like five hours and uh, there's like no in-flight entertainment, so it's just whatever you brought along to keep you entertained. So she goes on and on talking and talking and talking and I'm just getting really annoyed. So at one point I'm just like, hey, I'm really sorry, but I think I want to try and sleep. So I try and sleep, okay, and a bit like... Two hours into the flight, we had a bit of turbulence, like, not that much of a big deal, just some decent amount of turbulence, I'd say. Like, you can hear some plates, uh, like, the cutlery is hitting against each other, and, you know, you're, you're bumping up and down a bit, but honestly, it's much less uh, bumping than when you take a fucking car, for example. So this woman literally starts grabbing my arm and uh let's just call her amy uh, that's not her real name but someone called amy starts like grabbing my arm and starts like talking to me super frantically and she's like we're gonna crash we're gonna crash we're gonna die we're gonna die we're gonna die i'm 100 sure we're gonna die so at this point i'm just annoyed i don't really know what to do i'm super tired this woman next to me amy right here is freaking out convinced that we're gonna die and, you know, I'm just here like, shut up. Like, okay, I'm sorry, that was probably a bit rude of me, but I just told her, look, maybe you should read a book, because I honestly am not in the mood for talking. And now she gets really pissed. And I mean, with pissed, she's like, how dare you be like this? You're just, uh, you know, some bratty kid. Uh, you should have respect for me and all that. And you know, it's these type of people who annoy the hell out of me. So, the turbulence stops after about 10 minutes. She still isn't very calm because she's scared that turbulence is going to hit again. So she keeps, like, grabbing my arm. Like, fucking grabbing it. And is like, what if turbulence hits again? Is this plane going to crash? Are we going to be okay? How much turbulence can this plane hold? So she stands up, okay? She walks down the aisle and actually gets a fucking flight attendant and starts talking to her. Which is okay, but it gets annoying because then she goes back to her seat. And she must have gotten the flight attendant really worried because every 20 or 30 minutes, the flight attendant would come by and check on her. Like, that's great and everything, but like... So, you know, after like... Uh, an hour or so of that happening, we're about to land, we're approaching, and uh, this is where shit gets really crazy, because uh, this Amy here is really scared of landing, so 
What does she do? She grabs me again uh, by my arm, and this time I'm really annoyed. So I pull my arm away. Big mistake. She gets so frantic that she starts, like, talking to herself. She starts, like, violently shaking her legs and her arms. Just out of probably just pure anxiety. You know, either that or she's having a fucking stroke. I don't know. And so we start landing, and, um... She's like, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. Same thing as in the turbulence. So, as I already mentioned before, I was a pretty nervous flyer, so I got a bit worried every time she'd say those things. So I then ask her, like, why are you so scared of this? And she's like, I, I know how airplanes work. So, me, being on the verge of panicking, I believe her and I'm like, oh shit, she knows her stuff. Are, are we actually gonna crash? And, um... There's some, you probably know when you come in for landing, there's a bit of bumpiness in the airplane itself. And so now she's like freaking the fuck out. Like, she's just gone completely crazy. And I was getting really, really nervous at this point. I was just like, oh god, she's probably right, we might die. And we take the plane and it lands, so nothing happens. And afterwards, like, she's completely covered in sweat. And this is the part which I, like, fucking hated of the flight. Like, this is the most annoying thing. Not even annoying. I fucking hated it. After the flight is over, she's just covered in sweat, and she just looks completely done for. Like, she just escaped fucking Jurassic Park. So, she's leaning in for the hug. I'm just like, no, 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 really, you don't have to do this. And she's determined, okay? And, like, no offense to her, but she was fat. The type of, like, can't sit properly because my fat is gushing over the seat type of fat. Like, she had problems with her seatbelt and shit. It was really gross. And so she's covered in sweat, really fat, and she's leaning in for this hug, okay? Now, you know how people are always in a rush to get out of the fucking airplane at first? So there's no way I could have backed out. So I kind of just stand there, and she gives me this hug. And it was the weirdest thing ever. And it was so disgusting like I don't want that to happen ever again so in conclusion I think I could say that traveling with anxious passengers is just the weirdest shit ever anyway guys thank you so much for watching like if you like this video if you don't you know what fucking dislike it uh, if you like this video there's gonna be a Lamborghini outside of your house in five seconds no scam I promise you uh, 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 if this is legit, uh, yeah, but honestly, it's my go. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time.